Hey guys, welcome to another review and this review is going to be on the Huda Beauty Foundation. Yes, it is back in the box. This is my first day wearing this foundation. I picked it up in Tress Leches 320G. Um, I picked it up a little bit lighter than my skin color because I felt like it would tone down or oxidize, which it did. I don't feel like it's too, too far off from... Um, and I'll open the door and go outside and let you guys see it. I don't feel like it's too, too far off from my actual skin color. It is 3.30, and I've had this on since 6.30 this morning. You can see a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil is coming through. So, um, I forgot how much it is. I have my Sephora receipt right here because it is going back, but I'll put it in the beauty bar down below. The reason why it is going back is because I watched tons and tons. I did tons of videos on this before I even purchased it. And I'm going to have to go back and check and see, but nobody, nobody told me how horrible this smells. I smelled it as soon as I pumped it on my brush and I have smelled it all day. Like I cannot wait to wash this off my face. I was trying to wait to do the video for you guys before I washed it off my face. I got to go back and check these videos because I don't remember seeing, hearing that at all. This stuff, very, very, maybe just my bottle. I don't know. And they don't sell this in my Sephora. I had to order it so I won't be getting another one or testing another one. I'm going to take it back to the store with my receipt and I'm going to pick up another foundation. Probably some more of my Kat Von D, which I'm out of, or um, what, the Urban Decay All Nighter. Something I know, something I'm used to. Screw that. This is horrible. Like, I smelled this all day at work. I smelled it all day. And it's one of those perfume smells that I don't like. I can't explain it. Have you ever sprayed a perfume and it made you like nauseous or like you were like, that is not for me? Oh, it is very, very, very flowery. Flowery or sweet. I don't even know the word to use for this. Horrible for me. Horrible. As far as the foundation, I do like the foundation. Like I said, it was a little bit lighter than my color. And had it not been for the smell, I would have went down a color and got another one and kept trying it. But, oh my God, it has a pump, which is awesome. Um, I applied it with my brush. Uh, I don't think it matters how I applied it. The smell still would have been there. I'm looking for a fragrance or something. There is a lot of... Okay, it says perfume fragrance. It says perfume. There is a lot of perfume in this. High coverage cream foundation. Yes, it gave me the coverage I wanted. Camouflage imperfections and pigmentations. Filter finish. I feel like it, you know, really, really good finish, good foundation. But I can't. I can't do it. Y'all let me know if y'all tried this. I'm going to go back and watch some more videos. I promise you nobody mentioned the strong perfume scent. I don't know. Do it need to sit out? Do it need to be out? What needs to happen? I shook it up real good and everything, but baby, I have to go over by the mall tomorrow. So this is going back tomorrow. I'm not even going to use anymore. I've already put it back in the box. It's going back tomorrow. I have my packing slip from Sephora.com here. And like I said, it doesn't um have the price on it, but I'll put it down below, but it's going back. And I'm going to go wash it off my face because I can't take any more. I can't. I get a whiff of it. And, like, I haven't even eaten lunch or anything today. It's one of those whiffs that just makes you lose your appetite. And I'm funny like that. Even with lotions and perfumes and stuff, there's some fragrances that actually make me feel like I'm pregnant. Like, I want to throw up. Like, no. It's a no-go for me just because of the fragrance, guys. So, if you... And plus, I have sensitive skin. So, I don't even know how I'm going to react to this. But if you're not sensitive to fragrance or anything, I would suggest getting a sample if your Sephora has it. Try it out. Test it for yourself. Everything else is okay, but I can't get past that smell. So I'll see you guys in the next review.